Hey guys, Lazy here, and in this episode, we're going to be checking out this, the Ford XB Falcon GT. I was going through my back catalog, and I'd, I've drag raced this car, and I've done a movie build, but we've never gone drifting in it, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm actually pretty stoked, because this is one of my favourite cars. So yeah, let's jump in and get this build started. Okay, so for this build, I'm going to ruin it straight up, and I'm going to jump over, and I'm going to put in the LS. The 351 is good, but it's not going to do what I want it to. Um, we're going to leave a rear wheel drive. And for a change, I'm going to go with a supercharger. Yep. Alright, let's jump into here and see what area we have. Ah, yeah. We're definitely not going for that. So, fun fact about this car. The front end is pretty much identical to a Mustang Mark 1, which is awesome. Yep, we're definitely going to go for the blower. Uh, jumping into here for the tyre compound... We're going to need, mm, yeah, we're going to go with the race compound for the tyre width in the front. Uh, I'm just going to take it up by one. And in the rear, hmm, yeah, I'm going to put it about in the middle. Yeah, right there, that'll do. For the rims, hmm, I kind of want to go for ADB ones, but we'll see. We'll have a look through here first and see if there's any that actually look alright for this car I don't think it's going to, yeah we'll just jump in and put the ADVs on it uh, which ones do we want? yep, them ones there, they work perfectly uh, for the rim size hmm. yeah, I don't like muscle cars with big rims on it so we're going to go down to yeah we'll go to there and we'll do the same in the rear Sweet. And we'll bring the track width all the way out in the front and the rear. Yep. Sweet. Now we can jump into here. And we can max all this out. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. It's much appreciated. Cheers. Yep. We're definitely going to be able to need a diff that locks. Uh, we're also going to need a brake upgrade. Yep. And we're going to need drift suspension as well. Oh, that just brings out the character of the car right there. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we can go through and we'll max out the sway bars in the front and the rear. I don't want to cage it, and we'll come back and do that last. So we'll just go through and upgrade all this. So being the standard LS that is in the game, we're only going to get to 1,014 horsepower and 841 foot-pounds of torque. This car is actually pretty light to begin with it's like under 3,000 pounds I'm pretty sure but after we put all the upgrade and stuff it takes it up but once we put the weight reduction in it'll drop it right back down again yep I'm gonna need cooling all around on the flywheel yep boom sweet now we can jump over and put the weight reduction on yep and that'll drop it down a uh, just under 2,500 pounds. I'm happy with that. Sweet. So there's the build done. Now let's jump over and have a look at the paint options. Okay, so for the paint, this car originally came out with a whole bunch of different colors. Yeah. All of these look good. Yeah, that red looks really good. But I'm actually feeling something completely different. Mm, nah. That green looks really good as well. There's a lot of decent colours in here. Yeah, I want to go with that blue with the white trim. Yep. We'll go with that. And we'll go into paint option 2 and we'll make the trim white just to match the hood. Yep. Mm, nah, it's got to be white. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't want to mess with that. For I don't want to mess with that either. Or that. For the rims, hmm, these will look all good in black. So, yeah. The white suits it as well, really well. But I want to go over to the brushed, brushed or semi gloss aluminium, one of the two. And I'm going to bring the tint right down and make him black. Yep, right there. Wow, that just set off the whole car. And we'll give it a tint. Boom. And there we go. Wow. I love this car. Like, 
so much. I'm usually a Holden guy, but this Ford really wins me over. So the tune we're going to be using today is available to download. Here it is, if you want to give it a shot. Now let's go give this thing a drift. at your destination. destination. at your destination. Awesome, so this is a really fun car to drift around in. It's got all the power you need and a lot of slip. But what I'm thinking, if this video hits, what, 10 likes, I'll do a burnout build on it. But yeah, that's it for the video for today. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Laters.